All right. Johnny Somali. So do you know about this guy, Smash JT? I do not. I had a couple DM private chats with people saying that they got to catch up on this story because it's wild. And I'm like, I have not had a chance to, to catch up on it. So I was looking forward to you informing me about it. He's a dickhead. Do you want me just to give you the TDLR? Yeah. yeah. Can, I, can I jump he in real quick? A, is it, a is few it, years is, ago. Is he's it a something loser. About, well, real quick, Anna. Let me guess. Is it something about him trying to kill himself or kill someone? No. On, no. Okay. No. Right, so ahead. basically, he's just a loser that's not funny that wanted to get popular real fast. So he went over to Asia and specifically Japan and started being on a train. Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and just terrorizing Japanese people. Got put in a Japanese prison. Now he's in Korea. But wait, wait, he's been doing skip, this. You skip uh, the Israel arc. Oh, well, I said TDLR. Okay. So he's this been is to just, multiple he, countries. He does, yeah. So he's been trying to get viral for years by harassing people in foreign countries. He's a well, nuisance streamer. That's I, yeah. I guess so, you could say it worked. It did. Well, yeah, he's being hunted. <laughs> he's being hunted. I got some videos we're gonna efap, but he's being hunted in Korea right now. Like these people are. He's been. He's had the shit kicked out of him three times now. Three times, and when he goes live. These Korean IRL streamers hunt him. Yeah. It's like an inception. That actually start watching sounds... their stream and they're watching his to find him. Dude, that actually sounds entertaining. But Flash, his first beatdown was in Japan, right? His first yes. beatdown was in Japan. Some white dude that lives there punched him out. Then yeah. when he went to Israel, he got he was telling uh people that they look gay there. Naturally, he got the shit kicked out of him there. And then uh, now he's in Korea getting f***ed up again. But this goes back before Japan. I believe he was doing this here in America, too. He's a nuisance mm -hmm. IRL streamer. So what that means is he goes around and just harasses people at their jobs. Like, with people. Like, you know, people just trying to get by. Yeah. I hate that kind of content, That's man. Just f***ing with It's like fucking when you're in the people. grocery store and you see the people, like, in Costco doing the dances in front of a camera. It's like, you just stop. Yeah. Like, They're just a here. pest. It's just but, a public You're pest. a pest. I think this dude got some kind of sick pleasure with the beatdown, too, though. I don't I mean, know if he's enjoying it. It don't look like he's enjoying it. Man. I don't know, man, because think about how many times he, he's been beaten down in all these countries. You would think he would stop. He can't. Like, like Jay, Jay, you think it's like a fetish for him? Like, I, I seriously believe it's like a, <laughs> like he get turned on by the beatdowns. You know, it is people like that in the world. You oh, know? Yeah, no, well, no. it's because he's making money. I think he's just high off of the fame. He wants people to be talking about him, and he doesn't care how he gets talked about. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, then we could start here with It's a Gundam's video. It's pretty good. Shout out to It's a Gundam. Mm -hmm. Make great videos. Hard Johnny Somali makes people racist. Everyone around the world is tired of this dude. His streaming appeal consists of a chat wanting him to be punched in the face. DSP detractors tune in for begging and unhinged rants and will never be relevant. Now choke on it. He's a horrid mean old man. Johnny detractors tune in waiting for bodily harm and the obligatory arrest. Yeah, yeah, how do you like that? Suck it up. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the show business. To test. Johnny, is that a wig that he's wearing? A lesbian relationship. Stop him. Last we saw the Somali, he was sharing his cultural enrichment with Israel, and it didn't go well for him. Streamer Johnny Somali and his cameraman were jumped and robbed in Israel. <laughs> I didn't know he got Johnny robbed. Johnny Somali was previously oh, arrested in Japan. I didn't know he got robbed. Mm hmm That's great. <laughs> and for being a nuisance could you imagine that you're beaten you're robbed and people are like last time you saw him he was an absolute douchebag board 11 shake him like a dry martini like, can i just interrupt real quick on october 4th yep um there was a time when uh at least this country had mental insane asylums and those those have since kind of dissipated yeah they've yeah. lost all their funding yeah they do I mean, the people I, are people are still being made crazy. Like it's not like people yeah. stopped being crazy. Oh, no. yeah. So I'm starting to wonder if the if if social media is like exposing this, and it's just like no one's doing shit about it. <laughs> like this is very weird. The yes. uh, the thing about that, it, it, bringing that up, it's interesting. You know, part of the homeless problem 
that's because they shut down all of those psych wars. Like there's a lot of the homeless people are people that are, have like serious mental illness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it's sad. Well, our, our government sends all our monies overseas, but they won't. Yeah. Fund. They send it over to Ukraine and Israel when we should be helping our own people. Right. I agree. Asian Don made us all aware that Johnny Somali was back and he was a bigger dick than ever. South Korea security immediately pounces on Johnny Somali after he randomly screams inside a building like a Somali pirate. <laughs> We're entering the weird phase of content creation where untapped. There's a lot of shit that's not in this video, by the way. Uh, there's a stream where him and his buddy, I think his name is Gino, were just hanging out in the corner, and every time a Korean woman walked past them, they were asking them if they could smell their pussy. Mm -hmm. Like it's just like stupid shit like that that they do constantly. Yeah. Talented people decide that it's the best way to fame is to be as obnoxious as humanly possible, screaming like a howler monkey. When Johnny's confronted by the police, he starts <laughs> screaming to his moderator. Where's the proof? Fab, end stream, Fab, end stream. Fab, Fab, you know what to do. Delete the bot, delete the bot. Unfortunately for him, other people saved it. On the 8th of October, he decided to cause another international incident. Well, he's consistent, I'll give him that. Controversial YouTuber Johnny Somali yeah, kisses this is the comfort woman statue, sparks outrage in South Korea. Why is he giving? This pissed the whole country off, and the mm -hmm. uh, I think he goes over and it, he goes over it in this. Like their parliament is investigating him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a big deal over there. The statue because it's like a memorial to the women that were they were enslaved by the Japanese, and uh, it's a memorial for that. And he's like twerking on it and doing all that, like making out with it. Like he pissed the whole country off with this. Given the name. YouTuber. I don't even get the title of YouTuber, but Johnny Somali does. I hate this platform. A YouTuber previously... He's a kick streamer, for God's sake. This is bad journalism. A YouTuber previously arrested in Japan for causing public disturbance has recently been spotted in South Korea engaging in controversial behavior, according to the reports from the JTBC. On October 7th, streamer Johnny Somali, active on platforms like YouTube, Twitch, Kick, and E, has sparked controversy in South Korea. His actions include kissing the statue of a symbol of the comfort woman and playing inappropriate sounds in public spaces. He actually took a photo of him kissing it and he walked around and showed it to Korean people to piss them off. Like this guy was going out of his way for a beating. They didn't like this at all. <laughs> they did not like this. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. On the 11th of October, <laughs> he went to a 7-Eleven to set back race though. relations centuries in seconds. Johnny Somali caused a ruckus at Korean convenience store. That's not Johnny Somali in the chat. He's in jail. And his YouTube got deleted. Mm -hmm. uh, he was banned. That's I think good. he's banned on kick too. That's good. Normally I'm very against deplatforming, but Johnny Somali. Nah, man, this dude need to be deplatformed, man. He's a piece of shit. I'm black. I'm not gonna drink nothing. Okay, yeah, this is the so this is him. This is a good example of what he does, JT. So he's in this convenience store eating some ramen, and he mm -hmm. just pours it out and starts throwing it all over the place. And look at this woman, this poor woman, some minimum wage convenience store worker, got to deal with this asshole. <sighs> This poor woman running a store has to be subjected to this asshat spreading his digital litter all over the internet. <sighs> Johnny also started crashing K-pop street shows and injected himself into the dance routines. It's a clear lack of respect for everyone involved. It amazes me how he hasn't been beaten like a redhead stepchild. Oh, back your ass up. You're not in America. I don't give a damn. You're not in America either. Go back to America if you want to ask. Oh, who are you? Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch, don't touch, say, say on show. No, who are you? Huh? Who are you? You need to go back to America. You, you know, some people should just die. While wandering the streets of Korea, Johnny was walking around with a rotten fish. 
<laughs> it smell bad? Sorry, sorry, sorry. It smell bad? It smell bad? Yeah. Sorry. In a ripped up plastic bag saying it was his groceries and lunch or something like that. My grocery in my house. That's gross. My grocery, mine, mine. Uh. It's almost funny that his way to speak to every Asian person, no matter what country he's in, is to use the same broken English accent that was popular in the 1930s. My grocery, mine, mine, something wrong. I need yeah, help. He's doing yeah. it intentionally to be offensive. Police, follow me, police. I think in a weird way, he kind of he's kind of exposing he's kind of exposing the world of just being too accepting of psycho people. It's, this is like a clear example of that right here, where it's like so the back in the day, he though, is that he thinks that American laws are worldwide. So this is where he's getting caught out with some of the things that he's getting in real trouble for because the laws in those countries or the laws in America don't apply in those countries. Their laws apply. So he's getting sorry to cut you off, JT. Go. No, no, no. I appreciate it. I think uh, one of the big problems I have with this is like uh, Americans already have like if you go to another country, you're already being looked at as like a loud mouth. Like you're they're they're already expecting you to be an ass. Well, because he goes over and like does this shit. that yeah. caused that perception and fuck it up for a hundred percent. Yeah, a hundred percent. It's uh, it's embarrassing. It makes us look really bad. It does. Reports of the only black guy in town being a jackass. Talk about a description that must be hard to fit in Korea, right? I will say that's what I hated about the. Uh, sorry, that's what I hated about the the break dancing. She made us all look really bad. Oh, the <laughs> ray gun. <laughs> the break dancing Olympics. Yeah, made made all Australians look horrible. Did, did you guys? <laughs> Did you guys see people were going as the ray gun break dancer for yeah, Halloween? Yeah, Halloween, yeah. So somebody, <laughs> I saw somebody, they were taking techno music and break dancing. Ray gun. <laughs> somebody went it was somebody getting went candy. That, somebody went as that shooter as well. I saw somebody dressed up as that guy that was just shooting the gun without all the equipment on from the Olympics. Oh, the crack mm -hmm. shot. Yeah. Ray. Yeah. Oh, that dude was dope, though. Yeah. Yeah, he was dope. What, he got what? Second place? Second place, it? yeah. Without all the equipment. Imagine if he had the equipment. Dead. <laughs> Unnoticed in feudal Japan. Giant Somali is surrounded by police and gets into argument after being told that he has been reported for nuisance behavior. He lies that he left his passport at a hotel, but when he hears that he has been arrested, he presents it to the police. He fears that the police will search his VODs and tells his moderator... Fab to end the stream and make it private. Hey, yo, Fab, delete the VOD, end the VOD, private the VOD. There's no rip. Nobody, nobody's. Fab, end the VOD, delete the VOD. Isn't that withholding evidence? At what point does Johnny Somali yes, finally get the boot in his ass? Of course. The problem he has, though, is there's archivers. So you can hey. delete it, but it's not, it's not going to matter. I got a quick question. Um, so he's deplatformed. So he. Cannot... I don't know if he is. I he might still be on. He had a YouTube, a Kick, and a Rumble. So his oh, Rumble's okay. still up. No, I was gonna no say Rumble's looked. never gonna boot you. <laughs> He'll always have a Rumble. <laughs> kick got him. I think his Kick is deleted. You and... know you're doing bad if you get kicked off Kick. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's probably got like a Periscope. <laughs> Kick will ban people though. They got rid of only use me blade. They got rid of him real quick. Everyone know who that is? Only use me blade. No. Right. Holy no. shit! That's a. We could do a whole stream on that guy. <laughs> like his whole shtick is he gets drunk. Like people send him super chats and he just drinks and gets completely <laughs> blacked out and then passes out in his own piss. What's his name again? Only use me blade. Only only use me blade. He used to be really. He he was. Like with Keemstar at the start, like he was like Keemstar's kind of like buddy right hand man for a long time, and then you know Keem took off and Blade just decided to become a drunk streamer. But he was uh, he did start in Call of Duty. That's where he this gets his guy name looks from. terrible. His name is Only Use Me Blade because in Call of Duty his shtick was that he would only kill you with the knife. This dude like he has a problem, man. Eh? He does have. He's a fucking <laughs> alcoholic and he's got holes in his legs. Did you holes? look him up? Yeah, because yeah, he's probably I, got diabetes and it, his leg has holes in it. Shit, like I he look, has, 
he has exposed God. flesh. Yikes. I, I looked this dude up. He looked like he on his last week of life, man. Yeah, I don't know where he is now. He got banned from every platform because when he gets drunk, he says the N word like a tick. Yikes. I'm not even kidding. Oh. Like it's like a tick. He just says the he drops he drops N bombs left and right. And that got him banned. On Finally. one of these streams, he was just throwing up though. Well, okay. hold, hold up. If I got a question, like if you got Tourette's, like legit Tourette's, and you do that, can they ban you even though you can't help yourself? Adam looked him up too. No, because there's a there's a Tourette streamer. I I think her name is leg. Sweet Anita. Yeah, I know. Sweet very Anita. nice. Yeah, very nice girl. Oh, uh, she's amazing. Yeah, yeah, she dropped she actually got banned and then unbanned for it because you know she can't help it. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm happened. wondering, like, like, what if it's like the N word though? Because she doesn't really say the N word. Like, what if, what if it's like she's really bad? It. She's she's said it before. Has she? Yeah, I think that's what got her banned the first <laughs> time. But uh, she got unbanned because it's not, it's not like it's not like she can't only control it. Plates. Yeah, where he's just getting shit faced and saying it. Well, I mean, that's kind of giving partial uh, preference to people with certain conditions and others that have different conditions like alcoholism is still a medical condition just like Tourette's is technically yeah but Tourette's is not optional alcoholism is I mean it, not for some <laughs> I I disagree I think you make the choice to drink yeah I, I have I, no sympathy I've, I've got some family an uncle that was an alcoholic it's a uh, it's a terrible I mean, te disease. Technically, uh, Anna is right. Technically, you do make the choice to do it, but like that's that's why you're an alcoholic is because you cannot say no to it. Like it's like it's a it's a well, mental. You can condition. you just have no self control? Well, that's why I go to it's a mental issue. Like that's yeah. what I'm saying. Man, that's too touchy of a subject. Can we finish? I had a girlfriend that was an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, I, I I don't like addict addicts that especially if, if they have a family and stuff and they put their addiction over their family and oh uh, anyway let's move on yeah um, yeah no well, i didn't, I didn't mean to had that, to sorry. film himself while being arrested it's a very big um thing in the black community you get more respect for going to jail than getting a degree captures the african-american experience he's out of line but he's right Frankly, I think he feels being arrested is the thing to do to get himself viral. But let's face it, decoy voice gets more out of Johnny Somali. That is not true, by the way. Johnny Somali ever will. When all else fails, Johnny and his boy Gino with a J decided the next move in Korea was to sexually harass women. Why? Why? Oh, he Why? does go over this. I yeah. Forgot. Okay. Yeah. Why? Johnny Somali's <laughs> partner Gino repeatedly asked Korean woman, "Can I list your?" Good dog. Oh. Right, Don Mike. Can I lick your kitty? Can I say that to you? Can I say that? Or is that too much for this platform? I don't know where the line is. <laughs> That's you gotta talk like you're a little kid. Yo, what's up? Hello. What are you scared for? <laughs> Relax, yo. What are you? He's not what wrong though. Is? You do kind of have to talk like a little kid because I covered this in a video, and instead of saying penis, I said wee wee. <laughs> 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 I don't care on the streams. I don't care on the streams as much. On the videos, you know, those stay up. Mm -hmm. So, I just say junk. Yeah, Cock. junk will work. Way junk. Junk will work too. Cock, cock, cock's the word. I don't script, so I'm thinking it off the top of my head, you know. Why are you scared like this? Whoa! Crash out. I'm about to crash out. This is your friend right here. Relax. Don't touch me. Get him out of here. Get him out of here! Deport this filth and ban them from ever entering Korea again. I seriously do not understand what compels these people to act like animals. Oh, Kang Min Lee, I love well, that guy. You know, the Korean him. and the Japanese probably won't beat them with an inch of their life. If they did this in America, maybe some white. This is where I first saw this latest arc was from his posts. A cop would get startled and bust a few caps in their ass. But in your country, it's not, it's not happening. A woman didn't care for Gino's advances, and he went full regarded on her, showing the maturity you'd expect from two mentally and emotionally stunted kid streamers. I gotta remember that one. Damn, you look so mad. Emo bitch. 
Melbourne. You got an attitude. What's wrong with you? Why are you starting for it? I ain't even got no. I ain't even got no problems with you. Yeah, move along. Move along, dirty, or dirty, dirty emo. No impulse control whatsoever. Hurling expletives and harassing regular people for no reason. Toddlers have more self-control than him. Entitled, self-absorbed garbage. A lot of people in Korea are well aware of Johnny Somali. In fact, I think most people in Asia are aware of this guy and hate his guts. He really has True. no clue. So, while they were wiling out after sexually harassing women... I don't know if he's got it in this video or not, but there's... So, there's Koreans in every country, and there's they're all pretty much looking at him now. There's a guy that uh, lives here in the States, and... He's like, when you come back here, I'm going to be coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> sure, there's he a lot of the wrong people. He fucked with the wrong people this time. Oh, I mean, it's just, it's a, yeah. He's got no respect. Yeah. No Korean well, Holocaust see, people. When he was still in Japan, this, uh, you know, he still fucked with people, but this one big Italian guy comes up to him and he's like, yo, my wife is Japanese. You got to knock this shit off. And he immediately like backed down because it was like a big yoked Italian dude. And so it's funny when he's actually meets like a threatening person that can challenge him. He backs down like a pussy. Oh, so yeah, for sure. He had the Yakuza looking at him. Jay's favorite group. Yeah, the <laughs> Yuzuka. I was gonna say that's the Yuzuka, not the Yakuza. Get it right. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. And you yeah, know, yeah. after watching this dude though, it, it reminds me of Agent Smith from The Matrix. Remember when he said humans are a disease? I hate the way that you smell. He said you're the same as bacteria. You remember that? Yeah. This, yeah. this, this is human beings that are like that, man. Hundred <laughs> percent. I also remember when they were cool. Yeah, they used nice to be. Who is cool? <clears throat> the humans. Matrix and humans. He right in his eye and splits his eyebrow. Trust me, Johnny's. Yeah, go to Johnny's room. We're gonna have a good time. Uh, whoa! Johnny's room. We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> whoa! He just comes in. Ow! You notice one thing: these guys don't fight back. Pow! All right, hard the some fist starts flying. Watch the VOD. Johnny literally walked behind that dude for three minutes and didn't do shit. Johnny ends up in his back. A Korean streamer decided to go hunt for Johnny Somali, and he beat his ass like a pimp beating a backwards hoe. <laughs> it's Blake man. Someone should help that lady. You got to love how the Korean dude with the gigantic pants is walking towards these assholes with like anime main character energy and they are just hightailing it dude like all the shit johnny talks in the second the fight breaks he is running <laughs> you better get out of bitch this video <laughs> is against her mama susan i mean if you're gonna be like that at no, least no, no, no. at least stick around for the fight like yeah that. you should instead of looking like this yeah that's a good so frame <laughs> <laughs> like that is a human form, like Jay was saying. This is a human form of a disease. Man, it is, man. Wait till you see the the MMA boxer that put a hit on him. Oh, shit. Wow. Yeah, some guy put a, a bounty on his head. Man, look at the sheer terror. And then there's another guy. Yeah, I was gonna say he looks terrified. Man. Yeah. He can't leave now though. They got a travel ban on him, so he's stuck man. there. Well, he took his passport, right, so he can't get out of the country. Yeah, he's no, do, this do is like the other worst countries, place. Do other countries have insane asylums, or was that just the U.S.? Thing? I'm sure that they do. I think that I most of them do. End up in one of those somewhere. <laughs> now because of the prison, he's facing ten years. Good. I'm gonna yeah. laugh. If he gets ten years. How long? He was won't. He, in the he won't get ten years. I think is a couple that... of weeks. I think three weeks. That's what I was reading. Before the stream, like three weeks. Notice how Johnny Smiley started screaming for the police. I thought they were racist. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, Johnny and his <laughs> back friends are setting a standard of no standard at all, making other nations dislike American tourists even more than they already do. His yep. antics and clear That's lack right. of respect right. for other cultures is becoming the go to for actual racists to use as. 
an example. Look how they are. They're animals. You don't know how many times I see that on Twitter. Dehumanizing and demoralizing anyone with melanin in their skin. Thanks a lot, Johnny Somali. Johnny is just one of many black streamers that go abroad and perpetuate racial stereotypes. And for what? Crumb of clout? If you aren't making millions now, you won't be making millions later. I don't know what yeah. to tell you. And I don't get paid enough to care anymore. Man, and, and this That's is the thing, part man. one. But this this is the thing, though. Just this, this might be Tim for a hat, Fatal J. I sometimes think these people are getting paid from some type of government or some people that hate Americans. Maybe I'm thinking too deep into it. Maybe yeah, you need a tinfoil hat on for that, man. I mean, maybe he's just an idiot. He could just be an idiot, you know? I, but, I think it's the most likely scenario is the most true one here. You know, you, you know like maybe money. Russia is putting money in this man's pocket. To be no. Stupid. No, yeah. I don't think so. Jay, where are you going? You, you, you men. Go back to the alien spaceship. <laughs> okay, I'm going. I man. think if he went to Russia, he'd learn, like, the around find out he gets stabbed in russia but what i'm saying is i'm thinking like these like, the people are getting paid yeah, by you're saying that he's a plant you're saying that he's a government plant I, I mean you know maybe you know from like another country to make americans look stupid you think it's china because china he hasn't gone to china yet to go and harass people and chinese hate japanese people and i'm sure koreans as well but i'm uh, just throwing it out there i mean um, he could just be an idiot you know i'm just throwing it out there but sometimes well, i just you, you know he has to be able to pay for his living expenses somehow. So you can just go and see how much he makes on these platforms. And if it's not enough to pay for his living expenses, then maybe you're on the right track. But I don't think Russia would pay for it. I think China would be more likely. Yeah. Or, or I, shouldn't, went I shouldn't be laughing at Jay right now because the way the world's been going, he's, he's probably right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the craziest thing. <laughs> What's this? So this is another one, and for some reason, and I think it's so somebody's going around. It's probably him or one of his one of his friends going around privacy complaining streams. So like the first two minutes of this video are blurred out, and it wasn't like that yesterday. So mm -hmm. I'm guessing this guy's stream got f with. This is the guy that rocked him though, and he talked. So he went up and f him up in front of the police, and then while he's getting arrested, he talks shit to him the whole time. I've seen some of you in the comments say that he wouldn't be allowed in the country. Well, that could be true, but there's no way. So he's going to China after after South Korea. That's his plan. Oh, okay. he went to oh China. my. Yeah, he's he's going to get up in China. Yeah. Go to North Korea and do it. Oh, God. I don't think he can get into North Korea. No. Oh, no what what Please, North Korea is the one with the, the little emperor guy, right? Yes. Let, let him in. Yes. Okay. Dude, he would it's die. Well, we would actually get content and see what North Korea. Yeah, that dude would kill him. That little emperor dude, he would kill. Yeah. <laughs> no. His own China own. has a 144 hour visa free entry into select cities for U.S. citizens and citizens of many other countries as well. I'm guessing that someone in China is watching Johnny's situation carefully and could possibly put him on a blacklist that would forbid him from entering China. Do it. But if they didn't, then he could get in. When I posted my last video about Johnny no. on Twitter. I didn't I, know that, that you could go to China with no visa for a couple of days. That's interesting. John is one of those it's places travel. where you... It's so, can, can you get it's out? It's like layover flights flash so you can get from point A to point B. Okay. John is one of those places, Flash, that you actually want him to go to. <laughs> uh, well, he, he talks about up. in this video, China. Don't fuck him up. <laughs> They're gonna steal don't, his kidney. Don't him up, like. He's gonna wake up. up in a bathtub full of ice. Oh, he'll be making Nikes before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a Chinese troll telling me in the comment section, basically blaming Japan for letting Johnny off the hook and saying that they hope Korea doesn't as well and saying that, you know, China. Japan should have put his ass in jail for a while. He's only in there for three weeks. It has this drug testing policy and that because Johnny, it looks like he's got drugs in his system. Well, he would be prohibited from even entering China in the first place. Well, like I said, that was just a troll online and I'm not sure that that's the case. 
because as far as I can see, drug testing for 144-hour visa-free visitors is not standard procedure and implemented only selectively at best. I mean, think about it. If everybody that was trying to enter China just for a very short term, maybe a couple of days, had to undergo this type of drug testing, I, from what I've seen online, I'm guessing that you probably weren't. So what if Johnny did get into China? That's the big question here. What? Let's skip. I'm going to skip over to this video. I don't think I've watched that one. It's just him if talking he, about going to China. If he gets into China, he's a dead man. I agree. We'll never see him again. Yeah, here it is. So well, the people first... like this guy just find a way to disappear eventually. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you're just like, oh, remember that guy? Yeah, gonna <laughs> take his organs. Yeah. That's what they're going to do. <laughs> yeah, take his hey, organs. Take him in there. They're going to end up in some rich white old man who flies into the country. <laughs> yeah, they'll get it. The first 30 seconds of this video are blurred for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because of the privacy complaint. But. Guys, we need to talk about this. Johnny Somali, I think this time he may have bitten off just a little bit more than he can chew because listen to me, guys. He is literally in serious danger right now. And most recently, you saw him get can. beat up by that, uh, they call him a YouTuber. Well, that YouTuber is a former Navy SEAL in the yeah, South That's Korean the guy that beat the military. shit out of him. And as if that wasn't hard enough, I looked into the guy a little bit. I found some footage of him boxing and training MMA. And I'm going to put just a little bit of it here. I'll put a couple links in the description below. You can watch those videos. When this guy goes, he goes freaking hard. <laughs> And believe me when I tell you, South Korea has a whole lot more guys just like this guy and no shortage of guys that are even scarier than this guy. It has also just been brought to my attention that another guy who has some kind of- Hey, they're not even trained. They, forgive they, me, like I don't they know who is, but I did. This is the guy that put a bounty on him. Wow. Now, this guy's this guy's real popular in Korea. Like I've been okay. making these videos. So like all these people from Korea have been leaving comments. It's great. So, like, they've explained all kinds of stuff to me. Yeah, this guy's real popular over there. And, yeah, uh, real. yeah, like, this is a, a lot of people watch his channel. He's got a lot of subs, 162,000. That wow. did get wind of a very scary, actually terrifying development in the whole Johnny Somali story. And it involved a particular YouTuber. I went to look at his channel. Didn't spend much time there, but it didn't take long to see that this guy is really into training. I don't know if he's a professional fighter or what, but he looks like a pretty badass dude, and he's not a guy that I would want to have any trouble with. Well, this guy has apparently put a bounty out on Johnny, <laughs> and this guy has quite a few followers. Two million? <laughs> so, kids, let Two million this be a won. lesson out there. I don't know what that, that like 30 bucks? How much? <laughs> how much? Is, <laughs> let's take a look. How <laughs> much? Two million won. Let me go to the currency thing. Ten bucks. Because that dude dropped a thousand dollars on his stream and it was just one dollar when I looked it up. And it was red too, so I thought it was really well as a thousand dollars. I hate when YouTube does that, it gets you all excited, and you're like, oh, it's a dollar. I, I really know. thought, yeah, well, a thousand dollars. Whoa, Holy shit. Well, Man, I it's actually can, one dollar. I had a hand super chat a thousand dollars. The most you can super chat is like what, 99 99. It's five hundred. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's the. That's the I got one. Super chat. You do it I twice. Five hundred bucks. I think you wait, can do thought, it twice too. Wait, hold on. I thought like didn't didn't Mr. Beast do a video where he's like giving ten thousand to a random streamer? Didn't like. That's didn't if they have. So if you have Streamlabs. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, you can do I've it. Got to, I've got to set that up. But if you have Streamlabs, then you can send. I think as much as you well, whatever the limit is. Apparently, ten thousand is is allowed so did you know that the channel owner can now give out 10 gifted memberships to the chat a month yeah how for a while you just go to youtube go to the stream go to your monetization tab like you're going to send yourself a super chat and go to the gifted memberships and you can gift 10 a month five in two five installments i don't see two that easy, two easy installments of five gifted memberships gift memberships to this channel's viewers mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's funny it says 24.99 i didn't know you could do that are you are you signed in on the account that you're streaming from surely you are yeah 
That's weird. Are I've you talking like, about in the studio or, or what? No, no, no. In, in, um, the, like, go to the actual YouTube, ch- like, the stream. Yeah. I'm oh, there. I thought you meant studio in the studio. I do. I'm there right now. And it's got gift, gifted memberships. Yeah. Go you gift can membership. gift it to the people on your own stream. Yeah, I did it. I did it on both the full Aussie channel and my stream. Rage. Oh, not okay. let me do that. It's That's weird. 50 bucks. That's weird. Okay. Maybe you know, it hasn't rolled out to everybody yet. So people yeah, can yeah, see yeah, what I your can. memberships is like, I guess. Sorry, I just derailed everything for that. Yeah, you did. Totally. You just derailed everything, Rhino. You drink it too much, man. Slow down. You there probably- we go. South Korean won. Let's see. Damn, Rhino. Man, just, <laughs> just Google it. Two million won. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. Two million won. Okay. Two million won to I'm USD. Right. He just gave you $1,448. Oh, I mean, never mind. The, the uh, bounty is $1,000. Four hundred and eighty-eight thousand U.S. dollars. That's a lot. That is a lot. That's a big bounty. Let's go! Somebody claim that shit over there. I wish you it was the dude up though. To Johnny the Somali MMA or dude. thought he was cool. You thought it might be fun to go out and be one of these nuisance YouTube vloggers that just offends people, starts trouble because sometimes you're gonna mess with the wrong people <laughs> and shit's gonna get really ugly real quick. That's a, look Johnny at him Somali standing over. That's the guy that clocked him. I'm laughing right though because Johnny is folded like a pretzel on that picture. I, look at him just tower. He's like, you you see how his body posture is? He's ready to roll. The cops come in though and stop it real fast. He has gotten off easy as far as I'm concerned for a very long time. He popped onto my radar when he was in Japan. And guys, for the record, I spent four and a half years of my life in Japan. I absolutely loved the country. And the, the people, people were so incredibly nice. It's a very, very over there. Light culture. It's such a yeah. beautiful place. It's a place I've always wanted to go ever since I was a little kid, and I finally got to do it. And when I saw Johnny Somali over there disrespecting the Japanese people, talking to them just randomly for no reason about Fukushima, and then just shouting at Japanese people, Nagasaki, Hiroshima, you know, making references to the atomic bombs, it was absolutely sickening and disgusting. And he got off very, very easy. I mean, sure, yeah, he's been hit. I've even seen him get knocked out. And I always bring it up. But the guy that knocked him out was a white guy in Tokyo who had a man bun. A legend with a man bun. Who would have thought? You can't make this stuff up, guys. But then Johnny went over to Israel, stirred up a whole bunch of shit over there. And his most recent target is South Korea. He's been there for a few weeks now. And it started off pretty easy. I mean, he was getting off easy. He was getting threatened. He was getting a reaction. He was getting kicked out of places. He was pissing people off. And it really all started to go downhill when one guy just walking down the street, a guy who was not looking for attention. As far as I know, that guy doesn't do anything with social media. He wasn't looking for clicks. He was just doing it out of principle. He walked up and just cracked Johnny Somali, popped him right in the eye. And then after that, you saw Johnny Somali get attacked again. And then most recently, we have this former Navy SEAL who they with just a down. quick search on YouTube, I found out this guy likes to train. He likes to fight. He's a rough and tough kind of dude. And I want you to just see the state of Johnny Somali after taking a lick from this guy. You can see Johnny is definitely feeling it. He huh. is it right. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And that was just from one blow. Think if those police that he often lies to and disrespects, think if those same police that he treats like garbage, think if they weren't there to protect him, what would have happened to him? Now, of course, for me, I would Wait, never you're right, promote bro. violence, That's an but here's real. the thing. If you choose to walk that kind of road, the bounty walks, you know, a piece of paper. Like, what, 1300 bucks? Yeah. Uh, it's four, it's 1450 dollars Okay. Mental, mental, mental illness is real, though, man. It's real. It, yeah, he got it. Yeah. Jold wisdom, you reap what you well, sow. Not only that, Jay, <laughs> you got to think with how many times the guy's gotten beaten like blows to his head that's what i'm saying it, here. it's probably like worse and worse <laughs> yeah. you talk about the milk to him is getting worse huh? <laughs> yeah pretty much and johnny somali going over there to south korea sexually harassing the women 
desecrating one of their most sacred statues. No, I'm not giving him excuses. The statue dude of a is comfort stupid. woman. And if you know much about this is, World that's War II that memorial history right and there. what happened between He's the doing. Japanese military and what they did to women in South Korea, they basically made them sexual slaves. And it's just horrific what happened. It's so saddening and heartbreaking. Well, Johnny Somali proceeded to pour oil all over himself, take his shirt off, start dancing, twerking on the statue, kissing it, just doing absolutely vulgar, disgusting, just stuff that's so hateful that you couldn't even imagine somebody doing it. I mean, I know people try to do like shock videos for clicks and all this and nuisance videos, but this just takes it to another level. And I can't even fathom somebody being willing to do something like that. But that just shows you guys it's a big world and there are all types out there. And like I said, I think this time Johnny Somali has bitten off more than he can chew. I'm not sure what the status of him is. I'm Imagine seeing multiple reports online that. Say it again. Imagine being his parent or something and like seeing what has become. Of I don't think his parents are paying attention to him. Man. No, I know. Does he even know who his parents are? Yeah. This is this is fatherless behavior. And, just gonna say, 100%. and for the record, I am not defending this guy at all, but I'm just saying mental illness in the case of keep wanting to get beat down by people. That's what I mean. But of course he's doing this stuff and he's definitely wrong, messing with these innocent people. I am nowhere defending this man, I promise you. Oh, I, yeah, you've been tearing into him. I don't I didn't yeah. think so. I kind of been watching the chat. They they thought I was defending him. I'm not defending him. <clears throat> His passport has been confiscated, and he has been barred from exiting the country. I don't know his current status other than he's being investigated. He's got charges against him. Uh, I don't know if he's in police custody. He is to be honest, custody. if he's in police custody, that could probably be the best he's thing one of those for him. People, because if he really did do it like a squid game, like – in a controlled environment, <laughs> I'm no just being dead serious. I'm like, not trying to laugh at when you say squid game. That's what got me. He, he would be the most entertaining character in that show. Like if it was ser as serious as Squid Game, I would be all about watching that shit. I reckon hey, he's two's coming. I can't. I reckon, wait. I, mean, I, reckon if, I reckon if he gets locked up, you guys should give up Britney Britney Grinder for him. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll trade. Just saying, yeah. He should go to the Ukraine and troll. Wait, why bother trading? Just be like, okay, just keep him locked. Like, what? Yeah, and we'll keep, uh, here, keep him locked up, and we'll give you Britney Grinder. Right, right, right. Deal. <laughs> but Britney <laughs> already out though, right? No, she been out. Oh no. Yeah, she's well, been out. Like, uh, you gave up a we'll warlord. Give him. For, you gave up a warlord for her. Well, and no. I guess he's already back to killing people again. So really. Yeah, I think he just the, the other thing with Brittany Griner, by the way, they're on the train. There, there's a lot more going on that we didn't know about with that. Let's be honest. I, I mean, agree. I come agree. on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. They're not telling us the full story with her. No. I agree. Yeah, we're no. gonna we're gonna lock this uh, woman up for <laughs> marijuana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Inside <laughs> in the public, he's got a whole country of people against him. And like I said in a video earlier, a lot of people in other countries think of just East Asia Maybe as a whole as being kind of soft and friendly because, you know, they've got their reputation. They're really good in terms of academics. When you meet people from that part of the world, they come across as being very friendly, polite. Even when you meet them over here, uh, usually if they're from if they're over here visiting from like one of the Asian countries, they're always very polite. Very polite. Very and polite. And nice. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and sometimes you walk away with the impression that they wouldn't hurt a fly just because they seem so well-mannered, educated, cultured. And I've traveled through all of these countries, guys. I've been to South Korea. I spent years in Japan. I spent years in China. I'm in China currently. I know this region very, very well. And that's one of the reasons I love this part of the world because so my people are generally Japan and China. really, really nice. They have good traditional values. I'd like to go to China. I'd like to go to South Korea, and I would like to go to Japan. I we gotta go to Japan to get the manga, you know. Yeah, I want to go to Nintendo Land in the museum. I, I I care about that stupid shit. I love that. <laughs> I would love to go to the Nintendo Museum. Yeah.